Hello, and today I am playing Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. This is my lowly level 8 zealot. Because I plan to do a playlist of this in the future. Right, my weapons are the Atrox Mark II Tactical Axe and the Zorona Mark IIA Quick Draw Snub Revolver. So my um, zealot is called Raphael, named by my mate Josh, who I will be pl playing with at some point as my uh, as my Ogren Gump. <laughs> Fucking scabs! Oh no, the dregs. Not scabs. I love this thing so much. So yeah, I don't normally play with randos unless it's like Overwatch or Dead by Daylight, but this game forces you to uh, play as a team. It punishes you way more than games like Left 4 Dead does for daring to go solo. Because your toughness, your shield, regenerates far slower if you're on your own. Or just straight up doesn't. Headshot. Where? Walkers. So obviously I won't be getting a full mission in here and I won't be doing like oh somebody's already quit I thought I thought the bot Fascal was called fascist I was like oh that's fitting for 40k <laughs> yeah a lot of people like fucking social justice warriors online are now bitching about 40k. Oh, it's a fascist setting. Correct. But it is also fictional. And the people and the beings... Oh, Jesus Christ. Get down here, you fuckers. Oh, God. Yeah, I, was, I didn't realise I'd gone so far ahead. See how I got punished there? Yeah, the the beings that the that the fucking empire is fascist against don't exist. It's like being racist against hobbits. Dickish move in their universe, but their universe does not exist. <coughs> oh, excuse me, draft up. So yeah, so my mate Josh, Josh, otherwise known as Joe Mahawk has made his own zealot, because he is deeply religious himself. And I think it fits him. I he will be using his zealot, and I will be using my Ogryn when I play with him shortly. Oh yeah, other weapons I have. Excuse me. Stun grenades! One of the zealots' things is to is to stun 1,500 enemies. Over, over, obviously, not in one game. You what? Run into 1,500 enemies in one game. Yeah, I chose a voice that was less racist, more religious, less racist. So whilst he still calls the psyker a freak, he goes, "You may be a freak, but you are still my ally." Kind of a thing. Like I feel sorry you were born with this bed and of the war. You are still a freak by the Imperium standard, but you are good by me. 
rather than one of the voices which is you are the lowest rung of humanity land thy place I thought no I don't feel right having that Fucking box walkers. Oh, you bitch. <coughs> Nagel has cursed these ones a lot. So yeah, after this video and after this mission, I'm going to be grinding my Ogryn. That sounded wrong. But yeah, I need to get into at least level 10 before I feel comfortable playing with Josh. Yeah, he played his first game yesterday. I died three times, correct. This game is fucking tough. I think I'm on a two thingy difficulty up until like... Level 10, you have level 1, 2, and 3 difficulties. This is a level 2. For the beneficence, God Emperor. Who would absolutely hate me? Because, Jesus Christ, the Emperor's an atheist. To him, the Chaos Gods aren't gods, they're just aliens or just demons, they're not gods, because he does not believe in the divine. Which is why when I did my um, death battle between him and Gilgamesh from Fate, I kind of did him wrong by the god, by the emperor referring to himself as a god. But I wasn't truly into 40k when I wrote that, so... Oh yeah, no, most of my skills are in tough. My skills are in toughness. Yeah. Oh yeah. Obviously, this is on the Xbox One Series X. We now, we now have an Ogryn called Giga Chad. I approve. This reminds me of my first ever mission. So yeah, this has been some gameplay of Dark Tide. I fucking love it. Oh yeah, also rock. <laughs> yeah, the Og one of the Ogren's grenades is just rock. I will be using rock. <laughs> oh, excuse me, my throat is dry like fuck. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next vid. Fucking muties. See you next bit.